Our next task in free throw shooting is what I call adjusted free throws. We've got three marks here, one at nine foot from the basket, one at 12 feet from the basket, and then the free throw line at 15 feet from the basket. The object of this is to begin on the nine foot line, shoot the basket, shoot the ball as if you're shooting a free throw. Once you demonstrate that you can hit the rim and get the ball there comfortably, then you'd move back to the 12 foot line, shoot until you can hit the rim comfortably, moving back to the nine foot line, then shooting from there. If you get to a spot where you can't get the ball up, say at the free throw line at 15 feet, you can't get it, then you'd move back up to the 12 foot line. Object's not making the free throw, it's getting the showing that you can get the ball consistently to the rim from a certain position, then moving back to the 12 foot, showing consistency, moving back to the 15 foot, okay? So we've got uh, two people who's gonna demonstrate this for us and um, uh, we'll shoot uh, one time each and then move back one time each and move back, okay? All right, Kyle, ready? Rebound the, yes, from the, the front, no, the front line, the nine foot line, yeah. So you stand there, shoot your free throw. They both demonstrated the ability to get it there and now they'd go to the 12 foot line. Once they, once they show, again, it's not how they make it, it's just that they have the strength to get it there, then they'd move back to the 15 foot line. If someone missed it like that, you'd have them do it again, demonstrating whether or not they could stay at that 15 foot line. If not, then they would need to move back up to the 12 foot line.